the garage shop involves a lot of engineering, and today we're going to talk to our chief engineer, Spencer Brown. We're going to learn about MoTeC and how it's applied out here and some of the cool things we get from the data. Spencer, what is it we have here? So we're looking at our telemetry systems here from Vance's runs. Um, we've hit, so like right here we got throttle position sensor. Right here we're looking at rear dampener stuff. So we got our fifth coil, left and rear um, travels. We got our uh, shock velocities, wheel slip, and then our wheel speeds and our ground speed. Um, we got spring loads over here so we can see what the um, what the loads look like on the shocks and stuff like that. Um, so go back, what's wheel slip real quick? So wheel slip is like your, how fast the wheels are s spinning versus the car speed. Right. So like, um, like right here, that's 11 miles an hour, hold on. So if we go up to, say like right here, we're at 160 ground speed, so that's GPS speed. And we're hitting 165 wheel speed, so that means you got 4.1% um, wheel speed uh, okay, slip. So the, the wheels are actually going faster than the ground speed. Right. Oh, look at that. There you go, layman's terms. Yeah. Uh, the steering wheel there, the angle. I, I know it's fascinated by that. How how much wheel is being used as uh, someone makes a run? Yeah. So that's something else we can look at too. So we look at like um, if we look at the front dampener here, we can see our um, uh, steering angle. It's it's pretty flat. We're looking pretty good there. Um, like I said, this is our um, shock travels. Uh, this on this one, we got front loads, and then we got uh, shock velocities down here. Um, and then we got uh, ground speed, steering angle again, uh, RPMs, and then throttle position on this side. Um, so what that shows is uh, he's 100 percent of the throttle, right? And so the RPMs are 904 two or seven. The uh, 7100. 7, okay. So at at, that, at this point in the run, so if we. Uh, so if you look like right here, this is a throttle. So we're going wide open pretty much after third gear. We're wide open all the way through fourth. He let off a little bit right here at the end of the coast down. He got back in just a little bit. but um, So that's what we're looking at, this data versus the um, fifth coil and everything to see how the travels in the rear end look. And then we're also looking at shock velocities to see if, you know, versus the um, shock position, see if we have any bumps, see what the velocities are. And, See if we're, you know, if we were just riding up the whole time, or if we're hitting a lot of bumps, um, and then you know we're looking at wheel slip too, and make sure you know because sometimes he says the rear end's moving a little bit, so we're trying to see if that's just wheel slip from the bumps, or maybe we hit a rut or something like that, and then we're looking at steering angle over here to see where he's at on the track for steering. And also, you know, so over here we have the in car. Yeah, so over here we so we look at this data, and then we'll look at this data over here to you know look at some confirmation stuff to see on, uh, so we can see some of the track. And we can see him uh, drive and see, you know, we got RPM, miles per hour, throttle brake. Um, this is an older V-Box um, configuration. New one has steering input up here now. Um, but we can see, um, you know, how he's doing in the car live versus the data here. So we can line them up and see them together. So we, we talked about, you know, the conditions out here, dry lake, but we, we can see the dust on all of us. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, but then you can see the dust kicking up in the car as well. And when he when he drives it out there, and it's incredible. Oh, it's, under these conditions. Yeah, you watch the camera; it's super dusty out there. Like, I'm surprised he can go that fast, that dusty. I like, I freak out in fog. So he's just, <laughs> I mean, he's driving through fog at you know, sure. 190. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, how has this helped Vance as a driver using MoTeC technology? It's good. So it, he like uh, we like it because he likes it because we can you know he can tell us some information. Because he doesn't have a lot of experience in racing. A lot of us come from racing backgrounds. So, you know, if him new to the sport, it allows him to tell us something. And he doesn't he does want to tell us something that he doesn't think that's, you know, I mean, he wants to make sure he wants to give us the most accurate information. So he'll tell us something. He goes, oh, you know, check the data. And it, it'll line up with what he says or something different. We can say something else. But, I mean, he's pretty spot on. I mean, he's done a great job this weekend or this week um, working with him. I mean, he's, I mean. I couldn't ask for a better driver. I mean, he's really grown. I mean, especially in the MoTeC stuff, we can work, all work together and we can all see it, and it works really good for what we're doing. So you as an engineer, how does this help for future plans and future setups? Um, so this allows us, you know, we can de um, log all the changes we have. So this is a change we did in the rear end, and then we can go back and compare this to an earlier run without the rear end, and we can look at the curves and, you know, the trends to see if, you know, how the suspension reacted to that run versus this run, and how he did, and so when we can see the speed, you know, we all, obviously we know the speed, so we can tell that. But really, we're looking for grip more than anything. So the speed part will come later, but um, it's really worked out really good. I mean, we it, we've been able to. I think it's helped us, you know, do changes a lot faster, and you know, it's helped him understand what we're doing on our side too. 
Next up, El Mirage. Are we ready? Oh, yeah. We're always ready. We're ready for El Mirage. You heard it from the chief engineer, Spencer Brown.